Hello and welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network special interview. Very excited today because my guest today defeated Koji Iwamoto last Saturday to win the All Japan Pro Wrestling Junior Heavyweight Championship. Very, very honored to have on the show today, Francesco Akira. Francesco, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you very much, man. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. I've been a fan of yours for a while, and I, I'm so thankful that you're, that you're doing this uh, show with me today. So last week, you defeated Koji Iwamoto to win the All Japan Pro Wrestling Junior World Junior Heavyweight Championship. How did it feel, man? You must have been just out of the world, felt out of the world when you won that title. Yeah, absolutely. I was like super, super happy after I won the title because like it was my dream when I came to All Japan two years ago. That's my like my dream, the junior division, and to be the top at the junior division. And now here I am. Of, of course, I have still a lot to do, yeah. but it's a big accomplishment for my career. And being the first European to do it is absolutely amazing for me. Yeah, I was gonna say you're you're the first European ever to do it. That must it must be just a fantastic feeling. Uh, so the match with Koshi Iwamoto was just fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic. So your thoughts on the match and your thoughts on Koji Iwamoto? So starting by Iwamoto-san, he's one of the best absolutely to do it. One of the best in the junior division in Japan, in all the companies. And his unique style of judo is very, very cool for me. So since the day I came to all Japan, I always want to face him like in a single match for the title. And then happened like last week at Oda, Ota Otaku, so it yeah. was really cool. The match himself was very hard. I <laughs> hit my back a couple of times, still painful, yeah. but but it was really like great satisfaction. Yeah, it was a great match. He came at you, he came right at you in the beginning and he kind of dominated the first couple of minutes of that match. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, I thought it was gonna be a, I thought it was gonna be a quick match. I thought Iwamoto was gonna just uh, run right over you, but you came back and you won the title and I was very happy, but uh, yeah, it looked like a tough match. And, and to earn a shot, to earn a shot, you had to go through a lot of tough wrestlers at the Junior um, Battle Glory Tournament. So tell me a little, yeah. bit, a little bit about that. Um, how physically exhausted were you after you defeated El Lindemann for the, in the final match to earn that uh, shot? I was, I was really exhausted. It was like three match in like one day. So it was like one match on the first day and three match on the second day. Yeah. So it was pretty, pretty tough. And I, I didn't have easy opponent because I had like, Tajiri-san, Takayo-san, Sugi-san, and then Lindaman-san. And Lindaman, we went like 18 minutes, I think. So yeah, yeah. it was pretty, pretty hard. But as I say, a great satisfaction, you know, like I came to all Japan for the first time in the 2019 edition, edition and I get only two points handed up last. And then two years later, I win, I won it. So that's pretty cool to me. Yeah, my two favorite matches were against uh, you against Suji and you against El Lindemann. And those are two really, really tough matches. And I was like, oh, my God, how is he? Like, how is he must be? I, I'm surprised you were able to stand up after the match with El Lindemann because that must have been physically <laughs> yeah, exhausting. It but, was uh, really exhausting. But um, but you 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 mentioned uh, you wrestled Tajiri in night one. Tajiri, an absolute legend. He's like 50 years old and he still got it. So how? What are your thoughts on Tajiri? And, and do you do you hope to when you step in the ring with someone like Tajiri? Do you hope to learn anything? Yeah, of course. I I mean every time is a pleasure to step in the ring with him because like he's my master. He's the guy that changed my life. So it's pretty cool to me. So. And like every time I step in the ring with him, I get to learn something new. You know, he has a lot of history as 50 years, but still move like I'm like a 30 years old guy. So it's pretty cool. And every time I learn something new. Yeah, I mean, he's like, he's, he's still got it. He's still got it, yeah, man. Absolutely. I mean, he's I, he's still doing the, the backflip off the ropes. I mean, I've been watching him since the 90s when he's in ECW and always oh, been yeah, a big so fan of Tajiri. But uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely still got it. So your first defense is actually at the Summer Action Series. You're taking on Suji. Uh, so tell me yeah. a little bit about um, what the fans could expect during that match. So uh, like Sugi san is one of the best high flyer in Japan for sure. Yeah, He does some crazy stuff. 
really some crazy stuff, but I already beat him in the junior tournament, so I'm willing to do another time. What can you expect? I really want to enjoy this match. I really want to have fun. I want to brought my style, some like high flying style, high flying style. That it's not really seen in all Japan. Like all Japan is more like statics and more big moves, so it's kind of different. So I I want to brought something more like high flying style and some crazy stuff for sure. And I'm sure with Sugi I can do it. Yeah, with Sugi, it's gonna be, I'm sure it's going to be another fantastic match. And you guys are gonna, both going to be fresh going in as, as opposed to the last time when you guys had a one match apiece uh, when, you, when you met each other. But uh, what's the game plan going in? He's going to want to avenge that loss, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. So what's the game plan going in against Sugi? It's going to be a tough match. Absolutely, it's going to be tough. He's going to come, I'm sure he's going to come strong because he lost the last one. And... He has more experience than me, that for sure. He wrestling from a long time, more longer than me. So I need to be careful and to not lose my focus, you know. Don't underestimate him. But I think I can do it. I think you can do it too. And I'll be watching an All Japan Pro Wrestling TV. I Please. Uh, been subscribing to that for a while. Great service. And anyone listening, watching right now, you don't subscribe, subscribe to All Japan Pro Wrestling TV. Great, great yeah, streaming service. So, Koshi Iwamoto, I'm sure he's going to want a rematch sooner or later. Do you think he'll get a rematch down the line? I hope so. But I, from what I read, like, a few hours ago, he wants, to, on Twitter, he wants to move heavyweight. Okay. So, I'm not sure what's going up. But I'm sure I will like one more. Okay, I, I didn't see that. I, I, I was kind of thinking when he was going to move the heavyweight. I didn't, I didn't read that. So, so maybe there won't be a rematch down the line. Um, so as your champion, um, as, as you're the champion now, you automatically have a target on, on your back. And you're going to have a lot of wrestlers gunning for you, wanting that title. How does that make you feel? Does that pump you up or does that uh, make you train more? How does that make you feel? No, absolutely more pumped up because it's like now I finally, not I don't want to say I did it. But now I accomplished something that's very huge for me coming from Italy. So I'm willing to have this target on my bed. That's okay. That's like, that's pro wrestling. So bring it on. What I say is bring it on. <laughs> there you go, man. There you go. So who do you think is your biggest threat to, to the title? I know there's a lot of, we mentioned Sugi, there's El Lindemann. Uh, there's a lot of wrestlers out there, like I mentioned, we got in for you. Who do you think your biggest threat for the title is? Uh, man, I... I know, I mean, Sugi is good, but I'm like very focused on that match. So I need to stay focused on that and think later to other opponents. Like now I need to ch keep my mind on Sugi. Okay. Absolutely. So you don't want to, of course, you don't want to look ahead because uh, Sugi, Sugi could be a bit, the toughest opponent, but uh, I guess it's yeah. I can't wait for that match. It's going to be an absolutely tremendous match. What what day that was? Um, what day was that again? Just um, twenty two of July. July twenty second. Okay. Just, just anyone out there, you want to see a great match? Get all Japan Pro Wrestling TV. Akira yes. versus Suji is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, so Thanks. now that you have the Junior Heavyweight Championship, I, I know you said you don't want to look ahead, but do you, are you entertaining thoughts in the back of your mind about maybe one day I want to go for the Triple Crown Championship? <laughs> That's long, uh, far day because yeah. <laughs> I'm still young and I'm still yeah. not big enough <laughs> to <laughs> go for the Triple Crown Championship. So what I, I really like junior pro wrestling. So what I want to do is become one of the best in the world to do junior pro wrestling. And then later on, I want to move on. But for now, I want to stay junior because I like this world and maybe go to America and Mexico and Europe, travel a little more. And maybe bring the belt will be cool too. Yeah, you said that you're young. You're only 21 years old. Is that correct? 21. Yes, 21. How long have you been wrestling for? Because you are at 21, you are just absolutely tremendous in the ring. You, you, you seem like a veteran. Uh, how 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 old when you started? How old were you when you started wrestling? And, and what got you into professional wrestling? So I started at 14 years old. Wow. And I had my debut at 15 years old, I think. 15 or 16 years old. Okay. And like in Italy, so in Italy, pro wrestling is not popular. It was back in the days, but after he like canceled from TV, it got really not popular. 
Okay. So I started my career there because I did many sports, but I never liked it. So I asked my mom if there was a school of professional wrestling near us. And actually there was. So if I, she found the school for me, she found the school. Then from the first time, from the first training, I just love it and keep going, you know. Even if in Italy it was for like small crowd, no money, but like it was my passion. So I really feel like that's what I want to do. Because I really love professional wrestling. That's why. Did you um did you watch much wrestling growing up? Like who who, yeah, who your favorites growing up? I mean I watch a lot. Like my favorite was still my favorite The Rock. Okay. Or like his charisma and then yeah. like yeah. Rey Mysterio, Big Show, all the guy had the all the guy famous like in 2004, 2005, like all the guys that were on okay. Italian TV. Okay. And what led you to All Japan Pro Wrestling? Who like discovered you and brought you over to All Japan Pro Wrestling? So I was wrestling a show in Italy, in these shows, and Tajiri-san was on the main event. Okay. And I was like in a scramble match, six men, called like scramble match. Okay. And he just noticed me and he asked me later on if I was interested to come to All Japan. He talked with Akiyama-san that at the time was like the president of All Japan. Yeah. So they brought me for the first time two months, a very skinny guy. But and I was very still very surprised that they keep they kept me because I was really skinny before, so it was really great for me. I think they were looking at the talent. There. I, think, I don't think they worry about you being skinny because you're so talented in the ring. So I, I, they noticed the talent, and that's why they kept they you. Even. So what was it like being in the in an all Japan pro wrestling ring for the first time? You must have been really nervous. Were you nervous or were you, <laughs> were you excited? I was nervous as <laughs> a lot because like I debuted in Korakan Hall it's like the mecca of professional wrestling oh yeah so it was it was like eight man tag but with like guy like Kento Mihara Suama Suama San then Yoshita San Ikaru San so many big names and that was me this skinny guy with 60 kilos <laughs> like and I was like keeping biting my nails because I was really nervous, but it was great experience. Like, it was really great. I could imagine. I mean, Kento Miyahara, one of the best wrestlers in the world, and you're in the ring looking opposite of him on the opposite side. You must have been, like, I would have been biting my fingers off, man. <laughs> that would have yeah, been yeah. so nervous. You know, so what are your thoughts on Kento Miyahara? He's definitely one of the best in the world. I'm a big fan yeah, of Kento yeah. Miyahara. I know you've had a match with him in the past. I, I'm looking for it on All Japan Pro Wrestling TV. For some reason, I couldn't find it, but... Uh, your thoughts on Kento Miyahara and tell me a little bit about that match with Kento. So Kento Miyahara is absolutely one of the best. I wish more people like knew him because he's in very famous in Japan, but I wish he was more popular around the world. And he's absolutely amazing. His skills and his charisma is out of the world. So like, and my match with him is one of my favorite because like he's the best, he's like really best of the best. So it was a pleasure for me to fight with him and learn from him, especially. Absolutely, man. One, definitely one of the best in the world. Uh, so how do, you feel, how do you feel you rate against the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, El Desperado? And would you one day maybe hope to step in the ring and maybe title versus title? Uh, that's, <laughs> that would be amazing. Like, that's absolutely a dream. I don't think that will, ha be, will happen. Yeah. But if it happens, like, that will be very huge. And that would be amazing because I like Desp too, El Desperado. So that like IWGP Junior is one of the most important title in the world. Absolutely, absolutely, very very different. talented. Be great to see that match one day. Uh, so we spoke about New Japan Pro Wrestling. New Japan Pro Wrestling currently working with AEW and uh, Impact Wrestling in the states. I know Dragon Gate's working with MLW in the states. Are you hoping that maybe one day All Japan Pro Wrestling forms a partnership with a promotion in the United States? Maybe you could go yeah. over there and defend your title. And if so, which promotion uh, were you hoping for? I hope so. Like I mean, that that would be good for that would be great for All Japan too. I like, I hope like, I like company like, uh, what's the name? Uh, Beyond Company, Beyond Wrestling or oh, yeah, yeah. like, um, there's another one, I forgot the name. Uh, like, or like company like Ring of Honor, that with yeah. Ring of Honor will be like big, but 
I mean, I hope so. I hope like that this Corona stuff get over soon so we can get back to travel and make connection and stuff like that. Absolutely. And hopefully this whole, this whole pandemic kind of ruined, ruined everything. And uh, yeah, my fingers yeah. are crossed that it's going to be over soon. Uh, mm-hmm. And I know you've wrestled um, in front of uh, when there was no crowd and you wrestled when there was a crowd. How, how, how does it feel when you're wrestling in front of no crowd, when you do a big spot, and there's no one there to cheer. Uh, that must be, that must be a little tough. I know you feed off the crowd, but it uh, must be a little difficult. That's, that's very different. I mean, wrestling is because of fans. Like, I mean, you can still do a match, a great match, but yeah, you see, it's very different. Even, even very good match like now in Japan, and people fans cannot scream, so it's very different from like just clapping, or yeah. people actually screaming and go nuts. So that's something that I really miss, like all fans screaming my name or like. And even after I won the title, I got huge reaction from Marina, and they like let out some like voice. So that was cool. Yeah. But I wish they could speak so like it was more f- more interactive. Yeah. So hopefully that this like I said, the pandemic will be over soon and they'll be able to scream. Yeah. Just for the record, when you won the title, I screamed. So I don't know if you heard oh. me screaming, but I did scream in my <laughs> in, from Winter and Dario. I screamed the, really the, loud. The, I screamed really loud hoping that you could hear me, but I don't I don't think you did. But uh <laughs> but uh, you you speak Japanese and I'm sure that's very impressive. How long did it take for you to speak to learn the language uh, of Japanese? I cannot speak flu- fluently. Okay. I just like a little bit, but it's very tough. I learn by myself. So because I didn't have time to go for school at okay. now, but it is pretty tough. It's like so difficult. And like, there's many ways to say the same thing in Japanese. So it's kind of rough, but then you mean I can maybe do a little conversation but I'm still like lacking of many stuff. So I need to get back on the books and try to study it again. So how many languages do you speak? Do you speak more than three? Is it three languages that you speak? Italian? Mm, just like I- Italian and English. Good. Okay. okay. Japanese a little bit and Spanish a little bit. Okay. There we go. So, uh, <laughs> so do you live in Japan now or do you still, have you moved to Japan full time? I mean, I'm in Japan now. Yeah. Full time. Okay. I okay. mean, but, after Corona is over, I want to travel more. So come to America or Canada. I have some few, few friends in Canada okay. and like Europe. I want to travel more. I like travel. I, I love Japan okay. and I want to stay maybe based here, but I want to travel more. Like I like professional wrestling. So if you come to Canada, you come to Windsor, Ontario, you look me up, okay? Oh, look yeah, me up yeah. when you come to Windsor, Ontario, because they, there's a big wrestling scene out here. I know Impact Wrestling comes out here a lot, but uh, definitely look me up if you come to, to Windsor, and, Ontario. Uh, some good oh. maple syrup. They, they, some good pancakes. <laughs> maple syrup, pancakes, yeah. We'll get yeah. Good, I don't know if you drink beer, but we'll get good Canadian beer. Yeah, good beer, good, please. Good Canadian beer. Up here. I'll, I'll, I'll treat you to maple syrup, <laughs> pancakes, and, and beer when you come up here. Uh, so, so you said you want to travel like to Mexico, uh, United States, Canada. Are there any opponents that you have in mind that you that you're looking to ho- that you hope to face one day? Uh, like there's so many guys, but okay. I go with the guy I want to face more. It's gonna be Osprey. Like that's like the guy. Then of course guys like Kenny Omega and all the yeah. guy like. But even young talent, the AEW has many young talent, very interesting. Yeah. Or like Ring of Honor, and now they're growing up, so it's pretty cool to me. I would like to face like many guys in Mexico too, like Hio the Vikingo. I think he's like absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. So like just go in this country and wrestling more guys than possible, like their best guy. That would be like how you learn. Yeah, well, hopefully, like I said, this pandemic will be over very, very soon, and you, you'll be able to do that because I think you'll be. I think wherever you go, you'll, you'll be an absolute phenomenon. Thank you, uh, very much, and, man. and you and you mess, you mentioned Will Osprey. I was reading somebody actually called you online the next Will Osprey. Does that make you feel good, or or do you do you want to be the next Will Osprey, or do you want to be the first uh, Francesco Akira? I, I want to be the first Francesco. Akira. I mean, I like the comparison, but I don't think I'm there yet. Because Osprey is absolutely phenomenal. He had so time, like, he has much more experience than me. But, like, I want to be the first Francesco Akira. I don't want to be someone else. Like, 
I respect him a lot. I think he's one of the best in the world, but I want to be the next myself. Absolutely, but again, I, I, it's like I can't believe so much talent you have, and I, I don't want to. You have at twenty one. I can't believe how much talent you have, and and I definitely think that you definitely have the chance to be on the level of Will Osprey. That that that's that's me saying that to you. I, I really feel that, man. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate. it. My pleasure, man. My pleasure. So before we wrap this up, um, is there anything you want to plug? Do you have any merchandise that you sell? If somebody wanted a uh, Francesco Akira t-shirt or any merchandise, do you have anything uh, that you want to plug? I'm actually making now, but I don't have ready yet. But just like follow my social media, like Francesco Akira, you can find me on, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Just like if you can support me and that would be great. I mean, I appreciate everyone and every support I get. So just that for now. All right. Well, and subscribe to All Japan TV, of course. Absolutely. All Japan Pro Wrestling TV. Great, great streaming service and very inexpensive. It's very, very cheap per month. Yeah, it is. Cheap monthly. It's very expensive. Great, great content on there. So Francesco, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Again, I want to say I, I'm a big fan. It's a pleasure having you on, and I'm looking forward to July 22nd when you take on Suji for – you defend your title for the first time. And um, yes. and I'm going to make a prediction here. You're going to win. I'm making the <laughs> prediction. <laughs> thank you, man. All right. Again, thank you so much, and hopefully we can do this again down the road. I'd love to have you on again. Thank you very much, man. It was a pleasure. Thank My you, pleasure. Well, thank you for joining us today. This is my name is Lewis Carlin. This is the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network special interview. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.